Today we are going to talk about the differences between filament lamp and fluorescent lamp. And this is the filament lamp and this is fluorescent lamp. There are different types of fluorescent lamp but uh, this is the normal uh, fluorescent lamp which we use at home. And this we are saying this as tube light or mercury tube. This in daily life we are saying just the bulb. But this is filament lamp, this is fluorescent lamp. Okay, now what are the basic differences between them? We don't have to see uh, the shape and size of this because this is the very layman answer, layman differences. We have to go through the signs of filament lamp and fluorescent lamp. The difference is first, number one, we can say that it converts 10% of the total electrical energy. It converts how much? 10% of total electrical energy into what? I'm, I'm writing just the keywords only. 10% of the electrical energy into light energy. But this one, this one converts 30% of the total electrical energy into light energy. Looking at this value, 30% and 10%, we can understand easily that this is more efficient than this. We can take example also, just for example, if we take this 90 watt bulb or filament lamp, then 10% of 90 watt, 10% of 90 watt is 9 watt, 9 watt, it converts 10% uh, of the total electrical energy into light energy means out of 90 watt, 9 watt, 9 watt means 9 joule per second electrical energy, 9 joule electrical energy per second converts to light energy. In this case, let's say we are taking not 90 watt, we are taking just 30 watt. 30 watt of fluorescent lamp, it converts 30 percent of the total electrical energy, supplied electrical energy into light energy. It means 30 watt, 30 percent of 30 watt is 9 watt, the same. And it means what? Per second, 9 joule of electrical energy converts to what? Light energy. It means if we are using 90 watt bulb, 90 watt filament lamp and we are using 30 watt tube light, I mean say 30 watt uh, power of fluorescent lamp, we are getting the same amount of light energy that is what? 9 joule. In this case also per second 9 joule. In this case also per second 9 joule. It means the amount of light we are receiving same. But there is a big difference in this 90 watt and 30 watt. It consumes 90 joule electrical energy per second to give the same light, but it consumes just 30 joule electrical energy to convert uh, into 9 joule light energy. That's why if we use this one in, uh, in a household circuit, then it consumes a lot of electrical energy and gives the same amount of light. But if we use this one, then consuming less amount of electrical energy, it gives the uh, appropriate amount of light. That's why this, uh, this we'll prefer to use at home. Okay, now let's talk about the second difference. We are in difference only. Its life is, its life is about 1000 hours. What it means? When we use this at home or in any place, then uh, it will work for 1000 hours. It's in lighting time. Uh, after 1000 hours, uh, this filament will break and it will be damaged. Uh, it is designed in such a way that it can go up to 1000 hours. And in this case, it, uh, its life is about, its life is about 3000 hours. What it mean? It means it will give us light for 3000 hours. Its working time is 3000. It is designed in such a way that it runs for this much long time period. It doesn't run for this much long time period. This is another basic difference between filament and fluorescent lamp. Now third one, 
this uh, in the sense of construction also we can say difference it is filled with filled with what either nitrogen gas or argon gas it means this part of this filament lamp is filled with nitrogen or argon gas i described this in previous class also why but here in this case it is filled with mercury vapor this tube light or mercury tube fill a fluorescent lamp is filled with mercury vapor and current passes through this mercury vapor okay now another one fourth one in this case tungsten converts electrical energy into light energy tungsten Tungsten converts electrical energy into light energy. Uh, it means the element of filament lamp is tungsten. But in this case, fluorescent powder converts. fluorescent powder converts what not electrical energy into light energy this uh, wall inner wall is uh, coated with fluorescent powder and ultraviolet rays ultraviolet rays ultraviolet rays it converts fluorescent powder converts ultraviolet rays into light energy Actually, what happens? Electrical energy supplied to this uh, fluorescent lamp passes through the mercury, and electron when collide with the mercury vapor, then it produces ultraviolet rays. Electrical energy converts to ultraviolet rays, and lastly, this ultraviolet ray when falls on the fluorescent powder coated on the inner wall of the fluorescent lamp, then the fluorescent powder converts it into light energy. Okay. These are the basic differences between filament lamp and fluorescent lamp.